Police in North Charleston are investigating after more than 50 car break-ins over the weekend. News 2's Sophia Radabot joins us live from North Charleston. And Sophia, police are asking people for any information that might lead to arrests. That's right, Carolyn. Well, police here in North Charleston say the break-ins happened between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. Friday through Sunday this past weekend, and they do believe it was the same group of suspects that were behind all the crimes. The North Charleston Police Department says it's not uncommon to see car break-ins. And that's mainly due to so many targets being in one lot. But what happened this past Friday through Sunday Every once in a while, we get these trends like we had occur over this weekend. Police say they don't come across a lot. 57 cars were broken into at various apartment complexes, including Botanic Apartments, Ingleside Apartments, and Windsor Hill in just 72 hours. We had laptops taken, cash taken, wallets, debit cards, things like that. Police say usually thieves will go around parking lots checking for any unlocked cars to steal from. But this weekend, the suspects broke many of the car windows. And they used a, what is a window punch. And if y'all have never seen them, it's it's like for breaking into, car, into windows, a case of emergency type situations, you can get the window out. The North Charleston police say they're doing their part to enhance police presence at complexes across the area. Mainly, we've increased patrols, and I know I've gotten emails from folks that have said they've noticed the increase in patrols since uh, the stuff happened. But are asking drivers to also do their part. Don't leave your valuables in your vehicles. Be very vigilant about what you see. Call in stuff that seems suspicious. And, you know, certainly, you know, park in lighted areas. Okay. You're going to have X number of vehicle break-ins at apartment complex just because, again, because the number of cars that are there. They're just a target environment. Police say they're still assessing how much inventory was stolen, but they do say more cars were damaged than property taken. Live in North Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on 2. A family without a home tonight filing.